What's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time checking out my channel, definitely scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with my channel. You can also hit that notification button so when I do post an upload that you will get notified and you can just watch it right then and there. So what we're going to speak about today is why you should lean down first and not bulk first. Obviously, when someone bulks first, they're trying to obtain the most muscle they possibly can. And this is done by overworking out, just working out all the time, and then eating on a huge surplus frequently. As simple as it sounds, that's technically bulking in a nutshell. But when people typically bulk with little to no experience, they end up gaining a lot more fat than muscle. Luckily for me, this never happened in a drastic scenario. I did get to a skinny fat stage where I did think I was still skinny, but obviously I was growing love handles, so I was technically getting fat over time. Thankfully, I was able to realize this was occurring, and I changed my diet, was a little bit more strict on my regimen, and I've come to realize that this isn't the case for most people. What I've seen with my own eyes over the years a lot of people that get into exercising, working out, and bodybuilding, they go through this bulking stage, but it's like a permanent bulking stage. Every time I see someone that's gained enormous amounts of weight in just a matter of months, I always think that they've gone through some type of life trauma where they have like, you know, anything that's horrible that would happen to a person that would take them off their track that would just completely derail them from any of their passion or goals towards fitness but yeah shit happens that's exactly what happens in life shit always happens and if you are in this bulking stage and you're constantly eating and eating and then all of a sudden you deduct exercise out of the equation well now you have the perfect recipe to gain a bunch of fat from eating excessively and frequently your body is literally like a heroin addict that really needs to get its insulin fixed. It just needs sugar, it needs calories, it needs nutrition every hour. At this point, the human body literally becomes completely dependent on food. Not only does the human body believe that it needs food to function, it totally neglects the low insulin levels to reach ketosis. Because we're remaining in such a high insulin level, it actually metabolizes protein and muscle faster than a fasted state. In actuality, when we're in a fasted state, metabolization of protein and muscle gets reduced down to zero. Growth hormone is actually one of the most important factors here when we are preventing the metabolization of muscle and protein. Studies actually show when insulin is very high frequently throughout the day, growth hormone is reduced. When growth hormone is reduced, that means muscle is harder to retain, muscle is harder to develop, and the muscle is metabolized. I know, I know. Based off what I'm saying, bulking does not sound like a good idea. And let me just put it to you this way. If you're leaning down the whole time and you're on your best behavior for the majority of the year, those mess ups, those times that you go into a surplus and go over your calories, Consider that your carb up. Consider that your bulk. Consider that your one to two days out of the week where you have increased your calories so you can get a fuller appearance because it really does work like that. Now imagine if you were diligently bulking and then comes your friend's birthday party and you end up over drinking and overeating because there's chick wings at this party. Well, now you're just going to get exponentially more fat because you haven't been on your best behavior anyway. You were already on your road to getting fat. Now you're going to get even more fat. It just becomes a super high risk situation where you're very likely to become fat. Who says you need to be fat for six months to eight months and then lean down for four to six months just so you can see your striations for one week before you get fat again? The approach that I'm taking and that I want you all to take is to stay incredibly lean and then when you want to size up, just increase those calories temporarily. If you guys do not agree, if you guys agree, definitely leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Hit that like button if you guys actually like that video. It helps me exponentially. I will see you all next time. Peace.